S-turns are a ground reference maneuver that consists of two opposite direction 180 degree turns over a straight line ground reference object such as a road. The airplane's ground track resembles two opposite but equal half circles on each side of a selected ground based straight line reference. Before learning how to conduct proper ground reference maneuvers, a pilot first must understand how the wind affects their aircraft's ground speed and how to adjust their bank accordingly to compensate for the influence of the wind. If a pilot were to make a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line where there is no wind, the aircraft will cross the reference line as the pilot completes their 180 degree turn. But if a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a tailwind, the aircraft will be blown away from the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn before crossing the reference line. This is due to the tailwind causing the aircraft to have a higher ground speed than their indicated airspeed. The opposite is true when there is a headwind. If a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a headwind, the aircraft will be blown towards the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn after crossing the reference line. This is due to the headwind causing the aircraft to have a lower ground speed than their indicated airspeed. If a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a crosswind, the aircraft will be blown parallel to the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn further down the reference line than desired, increasing their turn's radius. The way a pilot can compensate for these undesired outcomes is to constantly adjust their bank angle based on their ground speed. If a pilot has a higher ground speed, a steeper bank will be necessary to compensate for the influence of the wind, whereas if a pilot has a lower ground speed, a shallower bank angle will be necessary to compensate for the influence of the wind. By adjusting the bank, the pilot is also adjusting their wind correction angle, allowing them to remain on the desired ground track throughout their turn. The reasons pilots conduct S-turns are to learn how to properly correct for wind while turning, to understand how to adjust bank angle in relation to the ground reference speed to adjust rate and radius of a turn, and how the wind influences the airplane's ground track in relation to a ground reference point. These skills are essential to pilots, especially when flying in the traffic pattern. Ensure the starting altitude is 800 feet with a suitable place to land in case of an emergency. Epic Flight Academy uses 800 feet for the entry altitude to simulate the traffic pattern entry at New Smyrna Beach Municipal Airport. Establish 95 knots indicated airspeed, approximately 2200 RPMs. Enter the maneuver downwind and plan to make the first turn to the left. At a point directly over the reference line, initiate the steepest bank angle due to the fastest ground speed caused by the tailwind to the left. The pilot crabs the aircraft's nose to the inside of the turn to properly compensate for the wind. After around 45 degrees of heading change, begin smoothly decreasing the bank while scanning the distance from the reference line. Continue decreasing the bank angle as necessary to arrive over the reference line perpendicular to the road with wings just rolling to wings level position. Immediately upon completion of the first turn, begin a shallow bank due to the slowest ground speed due to the headwind to the right. Allow the aircraft to move somewhat away from the reference line as the wind is trying to push the aircraft back towards the road. Slowly increase the angle of bank and crab angle while looking at the reference line to keep the same distance away as in the first turn. The pilot crabs the aircraft's nose to the outside of the turn to properly compensate for the wind. Continue to increase the bank to keep the equal radius until reaching the steep bank used in the first part of the first turn again as the wind is behind you. Just before you roll wings level over the reference line. Roll the wings to level on the same heading and altitude the maneuver was started as the aircraft crosses over the reference line. Return to cruise speed and to a desired altitude after completion of the S-turn. Exit in straight and level flight after passing over the reference line and return to cruise. Some helpful tips when conducting S-turns are, choose a straight line reference that is perpendicular to the wind and is long enough to complete two turns. Allow enough time and distance between the reference line for a proper setup and entry. 
Do not rush the setup and entry as this will lead to an improper S-turn. Enter the maneuver with a tailwind to start at the highest ground speed. Choose two points that are equally distant from the reference line and fly the aircraft over these points. This will help make each turn uniform. Continuously decrease the bank of the first turn, allowing the wind to push the aircraft away from the reference line, and then continuously increase the bank on the second turn, allowing the wind to push the aircraft towards the reference line using smooth, small corrections to the bank. When entering the second turn, the bank angle should be very shallow for the first few seconds to allow the aircraft to reach the proper distance from the reference line to ensure each semicircle's radius is the same. Bank and wind correction angle should be adjusted as necessary throughout the maneuver to achieve two complete semicircles of equal radius through continuous, smooth corrections. The bank angle of the steep turn should be the same as the second steep turn when finishing the maneuver. Do not exceed 45 degrees of bank during this maneuver. If more than 45 degrees of bank is required, this is usually due to poor execution. Remember, the stronger the wind, the more bank variation between steepest and shallowest. When being evaluated by a progress check pilot or designated practical examiner while conducting S-turns, the pilot must enter perpendicular to the selected reference line 600 to 1000 feet AGL at an appropriate distance from the selected reference area. Apply adequate wind drift correction during straight and turning flight to maintain a constant ground track to maintain a constant radius turn on each side of a selected reference point. Reverse the turn directly over the selected reference line. Divide attention between airplane control, traffic avoidance, and the ground track while maintaining coordinated flight. Maintain altitude plus or minus 100 feet and maintain airspeed plus or minus 10 knots. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.